everybody. Welcome to Number Talks 2. Uh, I've decided that what I'm going to do for this one uh, is we're going to go through just like we did last time, and I'm going to just uh, ask you the questions. And then at the end, I'm actually going to go back and talk about some of the things that I saw. Um, I figured that would be better than making a whole different video about that. So just a reminder, uh, what we're looking at are two 10 frames. Now, a 10 frame, of course, has 10 squares in it. And they're arranged into two rows of five. So, you know, five, 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 five. And it's 20 in all. So, how many? And how do you see it? Remember, pause the video here, think about it, talk about it, uh, and then resume when you're ready to go on. So, how many and how did you see it? And now this one, how many, and how did you see it? And this one, how many, and how did you see it? Thanks for participating in that. Um, we're going to move on to uh, an optional part of the video where I'm going to go through each problem again and uh, talk about some of the things that come to mind to me. So, what do I notice right away? I mean, first of all, I'm seeing very full 10 frames. Um, so, I'm guessing this number is going to be close to 20. Um, because I know if they were completely full, it would be 20. Uh, so, there's a couple of different ways I, I, I might think about this. First of all, what comes to mind to me is if I filled in three more, I'd be at 20. So, I have to think, what would I... What number would I add 3 to to get to 20? And you could use any number of strategies uh, to think about that. Um, I'm kind of thinking about making 10, actually, though, because 20 is two tens, and uh, I know that 7 and plus 3 is 10, so I'm going to say it's 17. Um, there's other ways you could have done that as well, though. Um, so some people might have done something like this. In your mind, you might have imagined moving dots. So maybe you took one like that and one like that. And now, oh, I've got a full 10 frame. So I've got 10 and some number more. Well, I'm seeing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10 and 7 more, that's 17. And remember, there is absolutely nothing wrong with using even just straightforward counting as a strategy. I might start here and count across and count all 17. Uh, what's great about that is it um, helps me be sure. Um, or, you know, I might say, okay, I know this is 10, but I just count on from there. 11, 12, 13, 14. Speaking of which, there is another way you might have rearranged the dots. Maybe... You don't like having that empty five there. So maybe you moved it like this. So what would that have looked like from the beginning position? You started here. Oh, well, uh, you might, so you might have done something like, nope, that's exactly what I'm not trying to do. Here we go. As you can see, um, with this video, this part of the video, I haven't stopped to um, change things or fix things because I, I also want you to just see that I am always trying to figure things out too. Um, I've gotten pretty good at some of this stuff, but I, I still have to keep thinking about it. That never ends. Okay, so here, here's another one. Now, this one, I'm noticing something very striking. And I bet you noticed it, too, maybe even when you were doing it the first time. Um, I'm noticing that this empty place looks an awful lot. Purple does not show up as well as I hoped it would. This is uh, this shape. So I can easily move those dots in my mind. Yeah. 
in transporting them up to the top to make that full 10 frame, and then I see I have 10 and 3 more. I, I really want to be clear that th these are my strategies here are not the only ways to do this. Um, people think about these in all sorts of different ways, and whenever I do these, there's always going to be moments where someone does it in a way I've never seen before, and that's really cool because I've, I've done these a lot, um, and it's always great when someone comes up with something completely new. And, and don't forget, you know, I'm usually moving them up into the t t to the top 10 frame, but there's nothing um, wrong with moving ones from the top 10 frame down to fill the other one. There's really a lot of ways you can do this. Um, here's, a, here's another one, actually, uh, even though now this is all messy, that I've actually seen some students in our class do, which is... Um, make doubles or make near doubles. So if I rearrange them in my mind like that, I suddenly see this. Um, and I see two sixes there, and I know that two sixes is twelve. A lot of you probably have that in your mind. And then there's just that one more. So twelve and one more would be thirteen. Um, there are no right strategy, or right or wrong strategies, as long as they take you to the correct answer. That's the, that's the wonderful thing about math, is we have ways to know whether or not we're right. Now, I love this one. Um, this one, I see lots of different ways that people might have tried this. First of all, I, I'm seeing... These uh, are all these groups of four. Um, so maybe I'm, I'm starting to know groups of fours, and I know that two groups of fours is eight. Um, and hey, wait a minute, this one's exactly the same. So I know that's another eight. And again, because maybe I'm starting to know uh, these doubles, I might say, oh, eight plus eight, that's 16. Now... There's, again, lots of ways you can do this. Some, you, could, you could have counted them. You could have rearranged them in your mind. One way that makes sense to me to rearrange them would be to do something like this. There we go. Um, I see a 10, and I see a 6. six it's like 6 pips on a die. For coming with me on this journey so far, I'd like to give you one bonus problem that you would not otherwise have gotten. What if, what if I changed the problem and got rid of that one? What would it be now? How could we think about that? Well, what I might think about is if I saw this problem and I hadn't just done the other one, Maybe I'd imagine there was another dot there to make it just like that one. And I could use some of those strategies and know it was 16. But if I take this away, I know it's going to be one less. So if I see this, I know it's going to be one less than whatever it would be if it was filled in. So, and I know that 16 minus 1 equals 15. Just one strategy you could use. Like all of them, there's there's really no limit to the strategies you can use as long as it's a way that makes sense mathematically. Um, that means it'll work every time in every kind of problem. Um, and as long as you, you get to the same answer as you do using other strategies. Um, well, I hope this was fun and helpful, and thanks for watching.